Hey guys, it's Drew again. Um, here's the review of my Jordan 3s that I picked up from JumpinKicks.com. These are probably the nicest replica or fakes, whatever you want to call them, I've had so far. Let's see here. The leather on them, I mean, it, it feels real. It's not like on the uh, the ones I got from, the 6s that I got from Good Seller. I mean, if you can see it, it looks real, it feels real every single part of it. I mean it's nice, it's high quality. Uh, let's go through this. So, I mean I'm sorry they're a little dirty. I've actually worn them. As you can tell they got the the sole right. It's nice. All white. I don't know if it's completely right for these the all, the all white threes. Um, I'm, I'm not for sure what the exact real one look like. I'm just gonna give you an overview of these. So, you have the right sole. Um, midsole's good it's actually really comfortable the only problem is for some reason on every single uh, fake I get there's a mess up in the air bubble look at this one got a line through it on this side of paint uh, this side's actually clean I don't know if you can see that that's just a see this side's actually clean go over to the other one you have a, a little bit of paint mess up down there on the bottom and you have really bad paint on this one. I could probably cut it out, but still frustrating. Got the Air Air Jordan on the back. Um, I don't know if this is on the original. I'm almost positive it's not, but if you pull down the tongue, it says um, Pures. So, I mean, you can't see it when the, not the tongue, I don't, the, when the thing on the heel is pulled down, you can't, um, you can see it, but I mean, you, you can't see it when it's pulled up, so I'll never bother with it. The tongue's nice. Got the the jump man on the tongue. He looks he looks real. Sorry, I can't get a good picture of that there. Looks real. I mean, I know it's kind of messed up. It's kind of like a blob, but far away you can't tell. The inside's nice, nice and cushioned. Jump man on the insole. Uh, you got your normal tag right here. I mean, it's it's hard for anyone to tell these are fakes. The the elephant print is just printed on. It's not. In, indented or anything, but I mean it's nice. There's no, there's no ability to sell it that's fake. The stars around the, on. you can see them. There's the stars around the front of the shoe. It's supposed to be there. Uh, patent leather up on this top part on the sides. That's nice. Um, they came with other shoelaces. They came with elephant print shoelaces, and I didn't like them, so I put on white laces. I thought it made them look better. So far, I've worn them um, a few times, and no one's been able to tell they're fake. I get complimented a lot on them. A lot of people like them. So, that's my review of these guys. Um, overall, if you're wondering which website I liked more, as of right now, I would recommend jumpinkicks.com. I'll put the, um, the uh, website link in the video because just their quality, the high leather. Um, Export Clothes has great quality, too. I mean, my Yeezys have held up this whole time. No mess-ups at all. But... The ones from Jumping Kicks, I mean, you get great shoes. They're cheaper, uh, a better website, in my opinion, easy to navigate and order shoes, and also great customer service. I mean, the guy, when I would ask him questions in my email, he'd answer them within the hour. So, I mean, great customer service. I definitely recommend them overall out of the three so far. So thanks for watching the video, guys.